hello and welcome to mentor me i have another exciting book i want to review with you why we want you to be rich two men one message that is donald trump and robert kiyosaki these are one of the best selling authors at the new york times robert kiyosaki is a renowned author and Donald Trump has written many books which I recommend that you follow these two men and read their exciting books. Before we proceed to what I have for you today, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and of course to send me the comments how you are enjoying this program. And if you have any book that you want me to read, we can read that book together. I'll check through my library. And if I don't have that book in my library, I'll try to do for that book so that we can enjoy this program. I would like you as well to participate following my Twitter and Facebook so that we can be moving together. I have a series of exciting books which I would love to read and review with you. I have read quite a number of books now this time. I'm picking these books that I've read, these books that I feel at this stage they can inspire you, these books I feel that they can are motivating you. What is the core message of these two men? They begin by saying that they are concerned about what is going on around this world. The rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. The middle class is shrinking. The middle class is disappearing because the rich are keeping the riches within their circle and the poor are getting poorer. And soon it's either you become poor or you become rich. That's why these men, they have come up with the book so that they can empower you and me with the financial freedom, the financial wisdom, the financial knowledge that we need. The world is facing the financial crisis. That's what this book is all about. The world is facing financial challenges, financial crisis, which requires men and women of wisdom to dive in and take part of the wealth which is already existing. These men in this book, they are discouraging the, enti the entitlement mentality, which they call it an epidemic. Most of the people around the globe, most of the people, they believe so much that they are entitled to certain things. Most of the people today, they believe that they are entitled because they have worked for it or they deserve it. And this is creating people who expect their countries to provide. This is where they find the, the uh, entitlement mentality, where the government is going to provide this for me. I deserve this because my, my, my employer will provide this for me. This is what the entitlement mentality is all about. And other people, they believe that it's their family, it's the responsibility of their families to provide for them. So these men, they discourage the entitlement mentality because that is what is leading to poverty. That is what is leading to people becoming more poor because of a dependence on other people. They don't want to depend on their skills. They don't want to learn about financial freedom, how they can accumulate wealth, how they can go out and build wealth. They, are, they address these challenges because they believe that you cannot solve money problems with money. You cannot solve money problems with money. The world and the communities, the society is facing with money problems. Money problems do not require money problems to solve them. This book offers the solution. You can solve money problems with financial education. That's what 
these men have spoken about that the money problems can be solved by using financial freedom or financial education. Robert Kiyosaki is one of the believers in the financial education. His argument is always that at school we are never taught how to make money. At school we are only taught how to find employment and most of the people we are condemned to work. Being an employee will never make one rich, will never make you rich. Being an employee will just make you to be content to survive. The book is written in five chapters where Robert and Donald Trump, they want to write, they, they have expressed their views why they have taken it upon the challenge to write the book. That's the first chapter because they have seen these challenges which you and me are facing. So they have come up sharing their own experiences, how Donald Trump learned from his father, how Donald Trump learned things at school and his experiences in the business. And of course, we, we can also learn from uh, Robert Kiyosaki. He talks in his book, Rich Dad and Poor Dad, which I also have. He talked about how he learned from his rich dad the financial education, the financial wisdom, and his poor dad invested most of his time in uh, in working as an employee. And when he got retired, this man had nowhere to fall on. That's why they have taken upon themselves and they have written about the three investors. There are people, the investors, there are people who know what they want to invest and people do not know what they want to invest on and people who take investment and this is the message which Robert and, uh, and, and, and Donald Trump want to reach to us that we need to invest in things that we know we need to research we need to associate with people where we can learn about investment I'll give you an example when you get to the newspaper or you switch on your TV, what channels do you watch? Or what channels do you want to watch? What pages in the newspaper do you want to read? Some people, when they get to the newspaper, they go and read about entertainment. And other people who want to learn about investment, the moment they get to the newspaper, they want to, 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 to read the business news section. What is trending? What are the opportunities there? They want to know the exchange rate at that moment. They, what is trending around the globe? And they have mentioned about defining moments going beyond winning or losing. Sometimes you just have, it's not everywhere that you are going to win, but at times you can lose as well for you to acquire another step. The part four, they said, if you were in my shoes, what would you do? What would you do if you are in my shoes? That's where Robert, Robert and Donald they have spoken about their experiences, what they learned at school, what they learned when they were employees, what they learned while they are businessmen. And Robert, Robert it's from this book where he has outlined it. Though he's not a big believer of sending people to school to learn to be employees but he has mentioned that you can acquire your college degree so that you can learn he has emphasized according to his philosophy that you need to learn accounting and business law accounting to help you understand the cash flow financial statements and to understand uh, the monies to the calculations the profit and all these and their business laws are yeah, making negotiations, understanding what laws are applied in the business world. Emphasize that you need to learn about that. And the fifth chapter will be the fifth chapter part of the book. It talks about uh, what he has recommended investment in real estate. He's an expert in real estate and, of course, mentioned in, in gold and in oil, which Donald Trump is an expert in, in real estate. Uh, the Trump Towers and different uh, uh, real estate investments and they have recommended uh, 
real estate investment because you have control over real estate investment and network marketing. Network marketing is not about having the pyramid uh, scheme or those Ponzi schemes. He believes that it's only network marketing where you can learn more principles about marketing, selling, and uh, and uh, and where you need to be persistent. Robert believes that it's only market network marketing where you can learn more about marketing. And in my network marketing, even if you have not met the target, but you are willing to learn, they will give you an opportunity. But in other corporate worlds, when they give you the target and you are not performing, they will fire you. But if you want to learn about network marketing, learn network marketing. And they talk about start your own business. It's important to start your own business. Most of us who are employees, it's very rare that your employers will accept that you start your, your business. Employers want us to keep us working and survive. And of course, in employment, there are some high paying jobs where on the other side, you can begin the business that you are passionate about. The business that you do outside work is what will keep you after retirement. And you need to learn leadership. That's what they have spoken and they have written in this book. Leadership, leaders are teachers and these men, they are leaders and they have taught us according to their experiences according to what they have experienced robert has said in his book that if you cannot lead yourself you cannot lead others if you cannot lead into business you can't go anywhere that's where we need to learn i want to believe that in this book is about their experiences they have recorded their experiences these men, even when you go on Google to check about their profiles, you understand that even what they have written in this, in this book is something that we can learn from. The core message of the book is just their concern that the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. The message in this book is about financial education. That's what we need. Even if you own or you inherited the assets or the money, if you lack financial education, it's very difficult to manage the resources. This book will teach you the financial education. This book will teach you the financial wisdom that you need. This book you open your mind, your eyes to see the opportunities and this book will prepare you for the future so that you, even when you retire you will be able to sustain yourself and this book will help you to remove the entitlement mentality we are not, we are not going to be saying that I deserve this from my employers I deserve this from my family I deserve this from the government, but it will make you to work hard to find your path. That's the message about this book. And they have the solution, that the solution to the financial the money problems is not money. It's the, finan it's the financial education that we need. We need to be honest in our dealings. We need to be transparent and we need to be hardworking. You can read more about Donald Trump and Robert Kiyosaki. The genesis of Robert Kiyosaki, one of his best-selling books is Rich Dad and Poor Dad. You understand Robert Kiyosaki's philosophy about financial education, financial freedom, and his interest to teach us about financial freedom. The cash flow cash flow quadrant which is the book designed to teach you beyond financial security most of us we are employees or we are small businesses but it talks about going beyond becoming a big business owner and 
a new investor, we need to look out for investment opportunities, long-term investment uh, opportunities. So I recommend that you call online, look for this book, why we want you to be rich. Two men, one message, it's all about financial education. And I recommend as well that you read these books that I've um, talked about, which were which have been written by Robert Kiyosaki. And of course, you can go and look for more books written by Donald Trump. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this book review series. Mentor me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel send me an email send me a comment follow me on facebook and follow me on twitter i'll be very happy to receive your comments and i will request that you recommend the books that would want us to read the book that has inspired you so that others can learn from that i will read different types of books I'll read about business financial freedom i felt that's what we need to learn as well i have different type of categories different titles that we are going to study together thank you very much once again enjoy the rest of the day god bless you stay safe stay home